Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. It is a video editing software. And today I'm going to show you some brief ways to work with text and title screens in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. First things first, you need to open up Premiere Pro and uh, create a new project and uh, create a new sequence. And we're going to be working with text today. So the first thing you want to do is go up here to the uh, title tab here. So click on title and go to new title. And the one we're going to work with today is default still. So select that one. And then leave the width and height uh, the same 720 by 480 which is what the uh, workspace is already so go ahead and select OK and then you'll be presented with this box here and this is where all of the text editing and uh, distributing will be taking place right here within this box here. So the first things you see here are a bunch of tools here and a bunch of options here and we're just going to go over a few of those today and then we'll get into more detail at a later time. So as you see down here you got a bunch of text styles. I uh, hope you can see those. I can scroll through through those here. Uh, so we're going to select one of those text styles. You can select uh, whichever one you prefer, whichever one you like the best. Uh, I like this one right here so I'm going to go ahead and select that one there. And then once you do that click within the text box here and you can type in uh, whatever you want to type in. So once you've typed that in, if it's uh, too big for the box, go get your selection tool and uh, make the text box a little larger or make the uh, text smaller depending on uh, how you want that to work. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bigger and then I'm going to center that right there. So you got your text that you want there in the center of the uh, pane the way you want it. And now we're going to work with that text a little bit. If you wanted to go up here and change the font of that text, you can do that here and click the down arrow where it says what font you have now and you can scroll through those and uh, there's a whole bunch of those so you can go through and have a lot of fun with that. You can change it whether you want it bold, regular, italic, depending on the style you've chosen. Uh, you can go up here and you can adjust the size of it uh, with the uh, air adjustment arrow. You can also adjust the kerning, which what that is is the space between each letter. Uh, in case you need to uh, make room for an image or whatever that may be. Uh, up here you have show background video so you want the video to be in the background in this case in the case that I'm showing you just because I like mine to have uh, the video in the background uh, for a title screen in certain occasions. So uh, we've dealt with all of this stuff up here and that's what this option is here. You can deselect that and it will just be a title screen before the video even starts. Uh, right here another thing you could see is a uh, title alignment. You can align that so we can center it vertically and this one here centers it horizontally. So if I didn't do it exactly correct uh, manually uh, those two tools down there will allow you to do that. Uh, up here we by our selection tool we have a rotation tool. You can select that and then click down here on your text and you can give it a nice little uh, slant action there and uh, that's kind of what the rotation tool does. Uh, vertical area type tool allows you to type up and down instead of horizontally so if you want a, a title screen where the text is going up and down you can do that there. Uh, and now let's move over here to the title properties uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get my selection tool back. Uh, opacity, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, that it, it takes it the opacity down will make your uh, your text more transparent and the higher that that opacity is all the way up to a hundred will make it more and more visible X and Y position is where it is located on the screen the width and height is where it, it how high and how wide it is uh, the font family and style we've already discussed that and you can also adjust your font size here the aspect will uh, tighten up those letters or it will loosen the letters depending on if you uh, slide your slider to the right or the left the leading what that will do is honestly that right there we're not going to focus in on that any really today the kerning again is your space between your letters uh, the tracking is set at 1.1 1 .1 and and that again can can really deal with the letter spacing and how you want that uh, baseline shift is where it is within your text box left will uh, take it down and right will take it up within the text box that's for really detailed alignment of your text uh, the slant is for if you want your letters to slant a little bit so if you want a nice little 
little slanted action there. You can take that to the left or right to do that. Uh, small caps is for you know caps locking whatever you may want it to do. The fill type you can do a linear, a linear gradient and you can actually go through here and adjust that. So I want a nice red to white um, there and I can go in here and I can adjust how far the red fades into the white. Uh, so let's go ahead and leave that down about right there. Uh, the color stop opacity is going to adjust the opacity within the color uh, that you have added. So leave that at 100. It just really uh, doesn't affect it that much. The angle is going to be what angle your text, uh, the, the gradient uh, goes in at. So you can adjust it to go to the top, the side, the bottom. I kind of like it right there at the corner. So we're going to leave it just like that. Uh, a sheen effect is going to add like a little sheen to the lettering, but I'm not going to do that today. Texture, you can go in here and you can add texture to the text, which uh, is something you can do at a later date. The inner strokes and outer strokes will allow you to add strokes for the outside or the inside, depending on what you want to do with that. Uh, shadow, this text already has a shadowing effect, and I like it, so I'm going to leave it there. You can actually change the color of that shadow, so if I wanted it to be red, I could make it red, but I do not want it to be red. So that's the color of the shadow effect you see there. Mine is white. Um, and then the opacity of the shadow, you can bring that out a little more or take it down. I kind of like it where it was, right around 47 to 50. Uh, and then the background, you can uh, select that. And right now it's black. And uh, you can change that to a nice uh, whatever color you would like for it to be. So a bright yellow. Uh, if that's what you wanted, but I'm going to leave mine at black and the background is all done right uh, here at the, in the bottom there. And you can also add a texture and a sheen to your background. So there's a lot you can do within this box uh, as, in regards to text. And this is where it will all be done. So once you're done with your text there, you just go ahead and uh, just X out of it there. And that, that, is, your, that is your title screen that you have just created and you can uh, actually drag that down to your time uh, time bar there uh, or timeline excuse me and uh, you can make that as big or as uh, you know as, lo as long or as you know as wide as you want it to take up here you can uh, adjust what video uh, behind it how long the video behind it will be so uh, just depending on how you want it to, to happen so I can adjust that here and then once the video plays, it will uh, show my uh, it'll show my my text layer, which is my new title screen. So again, guys, don't forget if you want to deal with it, go to title, new title, and default still, and then you'll be within the the text editing software here, and that's where you can go in, adjust all your details, and produce the title screen for your video or overlapping screen as well. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.